what it is YouTube, I'm here to help you learn how to cut. Right guys, first things first, let's make it as easy as possible. What do we need to know and how do we do it? First of all, we need to work out our maintenance calories. What are maintenance calories? They are the amount of calories we have to consume in order to maintain our own body weight. From there, we need to either adjust upwards, adjust downwards, depending on our goals, you know? This is the website, guys. Uh, the link should be on the screen right about now. Uh, so as you see, it's pretty, it's pretty basic and straightforward. Uh, first of all, enter your gender, weight, height, age, activity level of how much workout you do, how much, uh, what kind of job you have, that kind of thing. So if you've got an active job, obviously you're going to need to eat more to counteract the calories that you're burning there. Uh, select your goal, gain muscle, lose fat. That's actually maintenance. So that's, that's your maintenance weight that you'll need to uh, register and work off. And then from there, I don't use these last two, but you can if you want uh, meals per day and micronutrients. This is mine, guys. So let's click calculate and see what happens to mine. So you see here, my basal metabolic rate is 2,010 calories. That is the amount of calories you need at resting. That's zero exercise, zero activity. That's how much, must, uh, how much calories I need to, to eat a day in order to maintain my weight. So for me, including my activity, is 3,468. The reason it's so high, because I'm doing cardio, you know, three, four times a week in order to cut down for this competition. But after this, obviously, it will drop right down. We want to cut. What do we do? We work out maintenance. We know how much we need to eat every single day without losing weight. And we'll maintain the same weight. So what do we do? We eat less than that. That's all. That's it, guys. That's the, tr <laughs> That's the secret. Take it down 300 calories. Weigh yourself after one week. If you're not losing weight, take it down another 100. If it's not working, same again, same again. Keep going until you lose weight two, three weeks, you know, you might find that you're getting really lethargic and tired when you're going around the house. That's when you need a refeed, guys, okay? So that's where you bump up the calories above maintenance level again, just for one day, and that's it. People call it a cheat day. I like to call it a refeed day because it's what your body needs, you know. It needs to uh, replenish its system. It needs to replenish the glycogen stores. and needs to, you know, regulate hormones in your body. That's what we need to do, guys. First of all, shout out to Mass. Send me over a free top. And also a free vest, sorry. And also their new vet, uh, their new t-shirts. Just sick. You gotta feel these guys. They're seriously comfy. I'll put the link to Mass in the description box, so you guys should go check them out for sure. It's such an awesome society, guys. You know they're bringing students together all over the country that that love bodybuilding, that love powerlifting, that love strong man. They do everything, guys. Honestly, so get involved. Like Mass. Here's a physique. Three days out, still gonna drop the water, still got a tan. Still have to shave down, also I've got a big carb up the next three days, so hopefully should be looking a lot fuller and real tight, real vascular. Fingers crossed anyway. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, stay tuned for more, hopefully I'll be bringing you something useful. Cheers guys. If I sit here in this chair all day, every day, I have a so if I I have a so why do I keep fucking up my words? Yo, rate, comment, subscribe that shit. <laughs>